What's up guys and welcome back for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering a simple little tutorial about uh, the stage object within Cinema 4D and how you can render multiple different camera views and have it automatically switch between your camera views so you don't have to try to uh, render each individual scene and put them together yourself. You can actually keyframe different cameras within the stage object in Cinema 4D so it automatically switches. So if I go here and press play we have our first camera and then it switches to our second camera and then it switches to our third camera. It's super easy, super simple, but we'll get right into it. I'll just delete everything that I got here and we'll hop right in. So the first thing that you do is let's say you have an object here let's throw a platonic in there and I'm gonna choose an angle, I'm going to throw a camera in. So, the way that cameras work, I'm sure most of you know, but you have a camera, you have your your uh, focus of the camera, you can press this little black square beside the camera to enter the camera view, and yeah, they're pretty simple. There's like a ton of different options within the camera. I don't even know them all. They're, some of them get super confusing when you try to get into like physical rendering and physical cameras and stuff and feel the depth and all that stuff. There's just tons of stuff you can do, but we're going to stick with the stage object for now. I'm going to choose a new angle. Let's say I want to do this one. I'm going to add a second camera. And then for the third camera, I want to do down and under here. So I'll add a third camera. Now under this one with the floor, there is the stage object. And this is where we are going to keyframe our cameras. So on stage zero, let's say we want this first camera angle. So we're going to click on our stage object and we're going to drag and drop our first camera into our stage object. And we're going to control click this little button beside camera. And that's going to create a keyframe letting Cinema 4D know that at frame zero, I'm using this camera. So let's move forward to about frame, uh, let's go 40. And I'll drop the second camera in there. And then I'm going to control click the button again. So now, when we go from frame zero, at frame 40, it's going to switch to that second camera. And if we do that same thing for our third camera, control click the button. Now we got our three cameras keyed in so that we can use multiple different views in one render and Cinema 4D is just automatically going to switch between our cameras which is very nice. Sometimes when you're rendering one scene from uh, multiple different angles you have a bunch of cameras and you just got to keep rendering them from different camera angles but this is just an easy way to to set it up so that uh, you don't need to do that and Cinema 4D will just automatically render it for you. Yes, yeah, uh, a nice simple little t tip. Um, nothing too complex, just one little object and a few little keyframes. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all next time. See ya.